国家掠夺器官一书的作者群受邀来台走访医界与法政界，一行五人首次接受电视节目访谈，参加新唐人特别节目，揭露民众到中国大陆移植器官的风险与台湾相关立法方向。完整的节目内容将在明天星期六晚间九点准时播出。你好 ，Hello，Hello， Hello. 你好，大家好。来自加拿大、以色列、美国与马来西亚的重量级专家参加新唐人特别节目访谈，对台湾以及全球华人观众揭露中共仍未停止的火灾器官罪行。Why do you specially come to Taiwan to talk about the overseas organ transplant tourism? China,、uh, the sources of transplants in many cases are、uh, people who are being killed for their organs, including practitioners of Falun Gong and People in Taiwan who、uh, go for transplants, who refer for transplants, who broker for transplants, should know that and, and really shouldn't be part of that. Taiwan is what and will be what China should be. That what you, we do in Taiwan is what I believe the people in China will eventually insist upon. I hope it's sooner. 移植专家也提出，各国杜绝中国器官移植旅游与整理中国移植手术的高风险。Is to share with the local medical profession and with the legal and legislators the way that we have done, we have legislated the Israeli organ transplant law in order to stop the transplant tourism from Israeli of Israelis to China altogether by banning totally the reimbursement. Can you imagine how many patients we had gone? To that center, getting the organ with the cancer in that donor, and all the patients who had received that cancer cancerous、uh, organ will have gone back to their own country or their own hospital, bringing in new problem. 这是国家掠夺器官一书的众多作者首次齐聚，一同接受电视访谈。整整一小时的精彩节目，将让观众更了解前往中国器官移植的风险。新唐人亚特电视台湾台北整理报道。